Hi, thank you very much for turning back in. My name is Fonny. In my channel, I talk about my houseplant and my hoyads. Today, it is actually a, a special edition for my previous unboxing video that I have done for Hoya Passion. The first unboxing that I have done for 2023 is with Hoya Maldosh. I really like all of the cuttings that she have sold to me. And I have some comment, um, not just in Hoya Maldosh video, there are some comments saying that they would like to see how I pot it up. I recognize that this will be a perfect occasion for me to show you um, how I pot up the cuttings that I got from Hoya Passion. Um, there are several tutorials that I have created just to explain a little bit the theory behind of my thinking process, why I think these things works. So the first one, you can actually check out my DIY pot. Um, that is a video showing you how to create your own self-watering pot in potentially the cheapest way. Um, when you have more than 100 Hoyas, for me, I think I have more than 200, but uh, I'll discuss that in another video just to have an idea how many do I have. But um, what I found is that it's very difficult to buy so much pots at the same time you need to spare some money buying the actual plant itself. So I have a video showing you how I make these DIY pot, explaining different functionality of different element of the DIY pot. And then I also have a video showing you rooting 101 that is the um, video that i spent quite a bit of time to kind of summarize different parts that i know and different stages that i know about rooting a hoya so in this particular video it is relatively simple i'm just going to show you um in real life how i pot up um, a fresh cutting that i have purchased um potentially in the mail for around six to seven day and how i pot it up like in front of the camera and if you have any particular question please um, leave a comment down below and i would love to discuss further with you if you have any specific question and of course if you have any suggestion for me and for everyone who are watching this video please be generous enough to leave a comment down below so we can all learn from each other and uh yeah i'm going to show you uh, several examples that i have in front of me and show you how to put them up so apart from the box, before that, I want to show you a little bit of my setup. I have a lot of questions actually related to how I set up um, the cutting after I have unboxed it. So as you can see, this is the preparation that I normally will have. Of course, I need to have my scissors and I also prepared some um, room temperature water, I would say, because I don't want to shock the cuttings additionally. So these are in room temperature for a couple of hours, so then I can have very close to 25 um, degrees water to add, um, kind of submerge the cutting. So I would submerge the cutting in this um, water pool um, for around 30 to maybe 60 minutes, depending on how busy I am for other preparation stuff. And after that, I will pot it up. So you can see that this is the setup I have. I have this um, a very small transparent cup. I think this one is around six centimeters diameter. And I have, I bought these ones from eBay. I believe you can find very similar one everywhere. But um, let me know if you find it difficult to find these cups. Maybe we can DIY these cups. And then I also have these ones. These ones I also explained. You can check out my video if you want to see how I do this DIY step by step. But essentially I have this um, rope to kind of do a self watering. I also have these ones. Um, these ones are what I have left over from the sushi store. So I have this one also cut a ring like this so then I can make sure that this won't fall completely so then I can have um, a reservoir for around 1.5 centimeters and then I also have this sit lock bag. Um, I have everything ready just like this so then at the time when I unboxed it I don't have to kind of worry about anything. I will just get them step by step and then put it in here without wasting a single second. Um, so yeah, that's how I set it up. 
If you want to know how I root them, you can take a look at the video that I can show you on this side, then you can reference to that. And now I will pot one up for your reference, but uh, for some preparation, what I will use is I'll use um, the Choose a Pond. And this is the DIY pot that I have showed you in another video. Um, this one is six centimeters and this one is the water reservoir. And uh, I have this one, um, what I have explained before. This is basically super important because if you look into this one, it will not be able to have a water reservoir. So what I did is I cut a hole and I, I mean, this is the lid of the original um, soy sauce container. And then I cut a hole. So then when I put this on top, it will sit very nicely and it won't drop. And also it is very steady. And um, also you will need um, self watering rope. And I also have this one to pinch down um, the um, cutting into the chooser palm so then it doesn't move around. So first step, what I do is I have everything prepared in my table and then I will do this together with you and then you can see it literally step by step. So this is normally what I do. I know somebody says that the, the choose a pond will wick the water up uh, itself, even though it's like this, it's going to be fine. But I just want to baby it because they are literally baby. So I, I, I understand and I know that you don't have to be all the way up here, but that's just how I do it. And you could follow or you could just do the way that you find it's more comfortable. But for me, this is the way that I find the most comfortable. And after you have this perfect length, I suggest to have a bit longer, this length a bit longer because you don't know after this has really rooted where you want to put. In my experience, I always put my Hoyas in very small pots because I don't really have a lot of space and I need to prioritize amount than, than how how much you'll choose a pot they have. So in that perspective, I'll have this small pots probably for a year. I mean, I bought some plants in this small pots for a year, so they're still all right, but um, do what you feel more comfortable. But this is what I'll do. I have this one. And as you can see, this is long enough in the bottom. And then I set it like this. And afterwards, I will dig in. So let's have a look. Maybe this one is my favorite. This one, as I told you, is the whole reason why I placed this order. This one is Devoenses. And I will have a look at this if this is too long or it's too short or too short. Sorry about that. Can't help you. But uh, if it's too long, of course, you can cut it up. But um, you can just have a look. Yeah, actually, it's fine. And um, I will just uh, put it like this with the choose upon. And normally what I do, I will try my best not to have a mess. So I will... I will actually put um, a little bit of the cheese pot on the bottom first, so then it kind of have a bit more room for the roots to grow into the cheese pot. Of course, it depends on the length of this one here. This one is pretty long, so then I don't need to have a very large or very big layer of the cheese pot on the bottom. And then I will adjust it like this, and then I will. A little bit down. Oh, actually, this is the water reservoir, so most of the time it is kind of moist. So I will put it relatively close to the node over here. So now, after you see that, okay, it looks like a good position, then I will just add the choose a pond. And with regard to the choose a pond, I'm most of the time I will wash it, rinse it first, so then it doesn't have that kind of dust on the bottom. But I also know that um, many people don't wash their lichus upon, which is fine. Um, just that for me, I want it to be very, very clean most of the time. But um, I actually reduce my pond all the time. Um, I boil it um, for around 15 minutes in high boiling water. And then yeah, I guess all of the bugs and all of the eggs will die in that perspective. And this one here, this one is a reused Lechuza pond from other uh, plants that I have. So then, here you go. Uh, 
just want to run it a little bit. Not snug. This one, because it is relatively long um, for the uh, stem on the bottom, that's why I don't really need to use this one to pinch it down. So this one is an example that you don't really need additional thing to pinch it down. And then we'll look at this one. Okay, that looks nice. I'm not sure if you can see this. Oh yes, um, I love making name tags now because I have um, I, I think I remember most of my Hoyas, but then the more that I have, the higher likelihood that I will forget the names of my Hoyas. Though, So I, I actually created these ones. Um, I just cut some transparent plates and then I write the name in golden color. Um, for one thing, I don't need to have this labels everywhere. And for another, um, I, I really like it because you kind of can see the name, but also it's not so obvious. Um, could be something that you would like to have, but um, this is what I did for all of my Hoyas. Took me some time, but um, so I'll just put it at the back. I normally make it really long, so then I can pinch it down really, really stable. All right, there you go. Then I have the lenses, and you know what I mean? It's, it's not really obvious and it's I think it's pretty from my perspective and uh, I have this one and then I have this one and what I do is I will have it watered a little bit not so much because I don't want it to be sogged in water even though this is the choose upon it's it's very airy it's still better not to be too much when it doesn't have any roots so you see that um, I just have drop it's just a drop of water and that's and that's how much i will have and then i will make some space and then i will put it in my bag so this one is the sit log bag that i have i put it in the sit log bag Right. And what I do, I will close it all. I have mentioned this in my tutorial, uh, on the routine tutorial, and I will flip it like this, like that, and keep it like that. There we go. Then I will just put it in a not so highlight area and let it grow its root. I actually still want to show another example, um, so then I can show you how I use these um, inches to pinch down a very short. Um, no, I have a perfect example that I have over here. This one, the Naughty Noel. What's the name? <laughs> because this one is super short, um, as you can see. If I just pot it up here, yeah, maybe, maybe it will um, kind of stabilize because of this two leaves. But um, to be safe. Um, so then it doesn't flip like that and in the end I did not notice it and for some reason it just dried up and died. Um, using a pinch, to pinch it down like this is perfect. So what I'm going to do is I will need to fill up most of this because this node is very, very short. Say like this and then I check it out. Mm, it's okay. And you can have a small tips. Not sure if it's the tips, but I, I will consider this as well. Let me know in the comment box below if you consider that. So if you can see that, there is actually a new growth point over there. It's quite important for you to see where the new growth point is, like this one. If you put this pinch on the new growth point, yeah, maybe the new growth point will continue to grow, but it's kind of like risky, isn't it? It also may deform the new growth point. So. I will definitely do the pinching down on the other side and I will put it on that side. Well, nobody said that that side wouldn't have any growth. Could be, but um, well, as long as I see there is one there already, so I'm just like, hmm, not going to risk it. So put it like that and then I will fill it up a little bit more. There we go. And I would. Let me 
you can still see that new growth point having that space to grow out. And then same as what I has done for the other one. I also wrote down the name on this transparent tag. I really like how gold and transparent goes together. I just think it looks really nice and aesthetically pleasing. So then I'll just do the same, pop it up at the back. So then it's secured all the way. And I also like this height. Can I just turn it inside out? Turn it inside out. That, do it again. So, there we go. You can see that naughty more. And then I pinched it down, and then it's snuggle in there, and then I add this up underneath. And then, again, do not give too much water. I'm going to show you how little, how stingy I am when it comes to water new cutting. See? Just a little bit of water. Down. Maybe that's maybe. Yeah, just, just a teeny tiny bit. Maybe a little bit more. So that's the naughty noir. Wash it up. Let's see. Oh, I'll just show you. Yeah. You see that? Just a little tiny bit. That's, that's the maximum I'm going to give to a cutting for now. Like that, there you go. So then I will do the same. I will put it in this bag. I'm a very stingy person when it comes to space. So normally in one bag, I will put five cutting or even six cutting if the cuttings are very tiny. There we go. And then I have three. In this one and then it's going to be like one two three four five five in each bag especially when this um, board that i have um, from hoya passion is very small so it will stay for me a little bit well thank you very much to stay until now i hope this video actually answers some of your question and show you um in person how I meant by potting my cuttings up. It is very simple uh, in my opinion and uh, of course if you do this the first time maybe it takes a bit more time but it is not anything like tricky. Um, it is pretty straightforward and and I, I just really like how this could actually stay in the pot for like half a year or even up to a year. I, I have some Hoyas in this tiny pot for a year and of course um, a lot of you may say that it will be nicer if you report your Hoyas but the problem is I don't have enough space I need to buy a new house to, to, to have more sized up Hoyas so I am happy that I share with you um, how I put up my cutting right after I got it from the mail if you have any specific question that you would like to ask uh, or there's something that you would like to suggest um, me doing please leave your comment down below so then we can learn from each other. If you like this video and you would like me to create similar content about Hoyas or about my other plants, I actually will be very interested to know, are you interested to see any plant that I have outside of Hoyas? I have been creating quite a lot of content related to Hoya recently, but in fact, I have a lot of other plants that I should show you more including these beautiful heart-shaped leaf philodendron. But um, could be another day. Let me know in the comment box down below. Is there anything else that you are interested to see outside of Hoyas? If you like this type of content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss out next time. Until next time, I wish everyone is having a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.